what's good gang this is a boy melody man so welcome back to my channel and if you know you know what to do so today i want to share a few tips via how to produce quality music in fs studio the first tip that you should uh do you need to stop watching too much videos start making music you need to fail making music so that you can understand where you're lacking because if like you spend most of your time watching tutorials like how to make music you're not gonna uh improve in your production but you're just gonna suck so the only way to improve in the production is to start like making music and then only watch YouTube videos when you don't understand something in FS Studio. But then you can't go to our YouTube to understand how to make creative chords. Now, the only thing that you can do to make creative code is to use your mind. You need to be creative as a producer. We are a producer, bro. That's the reason you are a producer. You need to use your mindset. You need to use your creativity to become um, dope. To come with dope ideas by making a beat only time you should go to youtube and watch videos is because like you don't understand something in fs studio if you don't have any idea how to make codes you need to go to youtube and then search how to make codes once you understand the fundamental of how to make codes you don't watch that video ever again you just go to fs studio you train you train yourself you train your mind the more you train your mind you're just gonna get to use this idea of making codes by yourself because i've seen like a lot of producers out there they can't produce bro without midis they can't produce without sample pack you do a collab with someone someone always send you projects with sample packs with midis like that is bad bro if we do a collab we need to create something from the top we don't use sample packs we don't use midis because now it's a collab you know so end of the day the reason that uh make people like can't produce is because they yeah, are go to youtube with download sample pack they're not midis and after the day you can't make music can't produce because end of the day this is not into you bro you just started making music because you saw someone making music or you just fail are uh, inspired by someone but end of the day this is not something you love you love something else so that's another topic um if you don't love music bro don't do it bro just go to school go to work and do whatever you love bro because end of the day you're just wasting your time and your energy trying to do something that you don't love uh another thing bro we have two categories when it comes to music we have talented producers we have uh, hardworking producers so hardworking producers are the people who are not talented via music and then the talented producers are the people who are talented music the only way to be successful or to start like making maybe income with the music production as a talented producer you need to be smart you don't need to be hardworking because the moment if you are talented and then you do hardworking you're not gonna succeed in your life they will tell you like hardworking hard work pays hard work pays that's a lie bro i'll tell you this hard work doesn't pay bro you're gonna work hard and then until you feel depressed and then you're gonna quit like our oh, music doesn't uh work good work what so the only way to avoid all this kind of fucked up shit bro you need to start using mindset you need to start strategizing you need to start understanding the internet you need to start understanding the social media you need to start building your fan base you need to start building your brand online that's the only way you can start like uh, improving in your production even like um start like seeing progress in your craft so if like you're talented and then you're heartbreaking i'm just gonna tell you this you're not gonna be successful in life you're just gonna be stuck in one place and then um if you're not talented in music then you need to be heartbreaking because obvious you don't know anything about music like music is not in your vein bro have you realized like when you're talented you don't need to think how to make music but you just go to fs studio you put like maybe some packs and then the moment like you put the sample pack of cards then something just comes in your mind bro like yeah, you, yeah like there's something that motivates you to make that beat rather than like when you're not talented you're just gonna first thing so end of the day if you're not talented yeah it's gonna be hard making music and then if you're talented it's gonna be hard but at least you do have like a privilege of like uh, natural uh creativity you know what i mean like yeah the another thing bro the only way to be dope the only way to start making quality music is to use your creativity that's the only way you can become dope bro start using your creativity think outside the box think outside the box never judge yourself uh, never doubt yourself any production that you do is dope end of the day you need to be unique bro we already have carbs and we really have some Kelvin Momo, you can name all these producers. So we don't want another Capsa, we don't want another Kelvin Momo. We want you. So the moment like you make a beat, just make sure your beat sounds you. It's your sound, bro. It's your learn music theory. Yes, I know they be like, yeah, don't yell music theory. Three, you see, you need to skip that shit, bro. You won't become a topest producer. You won't start making quality music if you don't know music theory. Let me tell you that. Unless you wanna produce um this sound like what we call this kichong uh Pakar, i think so i don't know this sounds skija i think so yeah those tre uh those categories they don't need like music theory i think so i don't know i've never made them but then if like you're gonna make instruments like where you have to play with keys you have to put some chords you have to put some saxophone uh a violin you need to know keys bro you need to know music theory you know, it's the only thing that you need to do or the fundamental that you need um is uh, to become like start making quality music you need to know <sighs> let me check you need to learn music theory you need to learn um uh, sound designing 
yes so for now you need to learn uh sound designing and then music theory and also you need to learn the plugins how plugins works like in eq most of you you don't know the work of plugins the reverb different type of reverbs the delays because most of the time like you'll hear a sound maybe like two 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 and then you're just gonna go to a plugins looking for a sound that nah that sound was not in the plugin that sound was designed using those plugins so most of the time you don't need you don't need the plugins bro, to make good music you need your mindset you need knowledge to make good music because now if you don't know how to do sound designing then you won't be able to create sounds out of your mindset because now you don't know anything you're just gonna download a lot of plugins and then be like i need this plugin to find this sound and end of the day not all plugins got the sound that's one you just need to produce or you need to create that sound out of your mindset and then but now you can't do that if you don't know sound designing if you don't know music theory so now the importance of music theory and sound designing they're very important when it comes to music production if you're serious about taking your production into next level i recommend that you start learning about music theory and then start about learning about uh sound designing there are a lot of lot of like youtube videos that can teach you about that rather than like always watching someone watch making video and then another thing i want to tell you guys it is zero possible that you can make a hit in 10 minutes, <laughs> in 5 minutes, in 1 minute. So you won't make a beat on, in 1 minute, you won't make a beat in 2 minutes, you won't make a beat in 10 minutes. It's all illusion. It's all something that's make you, that's gonna brainwash you, bro. These people via YouTube, they will do this thing just to brainwash you, to make you feel miserable, to make you feel bad because you can't make a beat in 10 minutes. You'll be at home trying to make a beat in 10 minutes and then be like, ah, ah, bro. I'll tell you the truth, making a beat, you need around a day, two, three, depends bro, depends, I'll tell you that, they won't tell you this, but I'm telling you this right now, me myself, I take around two to three days making one beat, like quality beat, if like maybe I'm gonna release that track, like a full track, I need one or two days, because I can't finish a day, a track in one day bro, because today you're gonna make it beat, okay, it's dope, but next, uh, when you listen to it next day, You'll feel like okay nah the bass line is not cool let me fix the bass line or the airps they're not cool or the cards you know what i mean like yeah so you can't make a beat in 10 minutes yes you can pretend to make a beat in 10 minutes and then people are gonna believe you so i want you to take that uh, illusion i want you to take that um mentality of making beats maybe 10 beats in, in a day one beat a day is enough you won't make 10 beats a day you won't make 20 beats a day you're gonna make one beat a day that's the only way you're gonna become good with what you're doing so from now on i want you to stop watching those videos how to make a beat in one minute 10 minutes those videos gonna fucked up you bro they're gonna make you feel bad or miss very miserable or something like that so that's um, another thing that i wanted to share and then i think uh, another thing that i can share also by how to produce quality music is to understand bro what you're doing you know most of the time like when you open a studio you don't know what you're doing right you just open a studio you're like i'm gonna make a beat the vibe the energy so the moment like you start making a beat you need to just put yourself in that moment then be like okay today i want to make a sad beat maybe a spiritual beat okay today i want to make instrumental today i want to make um groovy you do okay but yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah <laughs> i don't know how to explain this part of them okay guys so um uh, i hope this video was more helpful if it was not i don't know but then i was just saying like sharing a few tips or sharing things that did help me like via production to become this person that i am today and i'm still learning that's what i tell you like you won't stop uh, learning when you're making music because every day you're gonna discover something new every day you're gonna discover something new and be like wow okay now i know how to make a bass line like this oh now i know how to bend a chord like this oh now i know how to make a uh, pass like this but then if like you don't produce you're not gonna evolve bro you're not gonna evolve and another thing bro stop stop please stop changing sounds bro you can't be making skija, skijonga, private school, uh, soulful, uh, house, deep house, hip hop, like, nigga, what the F, bro, like, nah, you're not gonna, like, you're not gonna succeed, bro, you're just gonna be stuck in one place, because now you're doing everything, when are you gonna get time to promote, to push this, uh, when are you gonna get time to build a brand out of these things, one minute you're making skija, one minute you're making pakari, don't follow a trend, bro, know your story, because trend comes and go, which means when you do skitcher now, do, 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 do. Uh, when skitcher like uh, vanish, you're gonna go to maybe deep house. Deep house doesn't do well, and then you go to house. Like, don't do that, bro. Just stick in your sound, do your sound, know what you wanna do, stick to the sound. Even that sound doesn't uh, move forward, bro. You got people who love that kind of sound, they won't change up. So, end of the day, just decide what you wanna do. Stop doing all genres, 
yeah so um, i hope this was helpful and yeah i'm still gonna look for more topics maybe to cover next time and then thank you for watching if you didn't enjoy the video you know what to do by the way this is your boy melody mental and i'm out bless up guys